Hello, and it's a chilly afternoon for a good cup of tea. Welcome to Tea Time, and this is Plus TV Africa. I am Ifeolua Oshunkeya. With me is Ifeolua Omai and Elsie Godwin. As we all know, it's Children's Day, and we must celebrate all the kids in Nigeria. Joining us in the studio right now is a nine-year-old talented saxophonist who is using her music to glorify God and inspire our audience. She has performed gospel songs, love songs, and inspirational songs, at naming ceremonies, birthdays, weddings, churches, concerts, and company anniversaries. She has been privileged to share the same stage with great musicians like Olu Jazz, Tim Godfrey, Wale Oni, Adwala Shadari, Johnny Drill, Damilola Bex, Aramide, Messi Chinwo, Jerry Omoli, Simi, and BJ Sachs, to mention a few. Let us introduce the incredible and talented hmm. Timmy Layo Abodunri. <laughs> Wow, that's yeah, that's amazing. Cool. How are you? I'm yeah, I told you about the saw. This um, saw, we can't friend. get rid of it. <laughs> you can't get rid of it, right? How so are let's you? start with that. Let's start with your background. How old are you? We introduced her as nine year old. So how old are you? I'm nine years old. Exactly. Okay. So you have this thing for Saz and Ma going on with you. So I would like to know, was that instilled in you by your parents? Or it's just the Nigerian culture of you being respectful to the elderly ones? It was my parents who taught me how to respect people. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So what inspires your music? Like, you playing music, what do you have to think about to create the sound you want, for, you want people to listen to? Well, I always, before a performance, I mm. see the type of people I want to perform to. Mm. So, if it's a Yoruba place, and mm. I play Yoruba songs. If it's Igbo, I play Igbo songs. If it's any type of place, that's, mm. those are the type of songs I play. So you like, you let the environment direct your creativity? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So when did you start playing? Because you're already so young. When would you say was the first time you actually found the interest to want to at the age of six. Wow. Why? Did your parents play? Did you see someone playing on TV, your school? I saw someone playing at a church because I started with the keyboard at the age of three. Wow. So mm. from there, I, I, I had the performance at the age of six. Mm -hmm. I saw other people play the saxophone. So I told my parents about it and I picked interest in it. So they got me a teacher and I started playing the sax at the age of six. Oh, now wow. I'm nine. How long did your training take? Like how long did you have to train to be able to be this good on the sax? Right now I practice every day. Wow. wow. So a little bird told me that you do not like rehearsals, but you mm. like to be on stage. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what's the most difficult part about rehearsing for you? The types of things I learn. Mm. Mm. But when you're on stage, do you feel like you have more free spirit to express yourself? Like you just express yourself when you're on stage, but when you're doing your um, rehearsals, you're like boxed in a place and you can't really diversify. Do you feel that way? Most times. Most mm. times. So you'd rather be on stage playing? Yes, sir. So you're more of a freestyler than someone who likes to rehearse? Or, to rehearse. Is that what you're saying? Not really. I also like practicing. But I, because the more you practice, the, the better, the better you, get. you get. Yeah. So I practice. Sometimes when I'm bored practicing, my parents support me. Mm. So while I practice, my parents will be there, so mm. I don't get too bored. Yeah. Okay. So when I get on stage, I use what I've learned on stage. Right. Do so you do you have, have a role model so. in your field of craft? Well, the people I play with, like my teachers or other people who play the instruments, who sing, also support me. Mm. Like, so which your role model would you look up to in terms of playing the saxophone? Or playing any other instruments at large? Like, I don't understand. Oh, yeah. mm. Okay. Is there someone that you like how they play the saxophone? Or you just you just do your own thing? Yeah, some people I like. Okay, like who? Like Olu Jazz. Mm. Okay. 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 Um, Olu Jazz, Gerald Albright. Mm. 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 <laughs> He's not really a Nigerian. Oh, okay. okay. Mm. 
um, Oli Jazz, Gerard Albright. I know more of like singers and also saxophonists. Mm, okay. Mm. So, right. do you have friends that play the saxophone? No, no, no. Friends your age group that are not into the sax. When you're not practicing. Yes, ma yes. A lot of friends. Are you do you have a best friend? Mm. Yes, I do. So Who's how do they understand? Okay. She's. Her name is Jemima Bassi. Do you want to give her a shout out right now? <laughs> Wanna say hi, Jemima? Okay. Hi, Jemima. <laughs> okay. Hey. So your friends or your best friend, do they understand that you are? I mean, you are a celebrity. Do they understand what it takes for you to be who you are now, or do they affect your creativity? No, they don't affect my creativity. Mm. Um, they all know that I play the saxophone. Mm. Okay. But I don't think they're really interested in me playing the saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> they're just interested in you being a, a friend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So do you, do you think that, I mean, you said you practice every day and stuff, and I know that you, you told me earlier that you were in primary four. Yes, ma'am. So how do you balance school and the music? Does one struggle, or do you think that you have enough, to, enough time to give everything the attention it needs? Well, when I started, it was hard. So, me and my parents, um, we made up a timetable. So, from Mondays to Fridays, I'll read my books, then practice around the evening time. Mm. Then on Saturdays and Sundays, I do more of practice. Mm. Mm. So, you're balancing. You're doing well in school. You're doing well on All right. I like stage. the fact that you just spoke about the balance, right? So, what's your daily life like? Like, what do you do on a daily basis? What does Timmy Lyra do for fun? when she's not playing the saxophone. Okay, I m sometimes go out with my parents, like sometimes for shopping. You must love your play. parents. <laughs> <laughs> and I also play with my brothers. Okay. Oh, you have brothers. Yes. So you want to tell us about them? How old are they? Do they play any instruments? Well, yes, they do. Okay, so it's um, a music house. <laughs> <laughs> well, the one after me, is, his name is Maya Miku Abodurin. He plays the the keyboard, mm. well, the youngest is Ayokumi, he plays the drums, mm. but they're still learning. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. So what does um, Children's Day mean to you? Because today is Children's Day, obviously. Have your parents wished you a happy Children's Day? Yes. Have they done anything spectacular? Yes, we went for shopping yesterday. Wow. Mm. So what does Children's Day mean to you? To me, it's, it's like telling the children like their talents, that mm. they can do more on their talents, mm. and their parents love them, mm. and we all, that all the adults love the children. Because mm. mm. you are the future yes. leaders, right? Yes. Okay, so if you weren't a saxophonist, what would you be doing differently? What would you like to be when you grow up? Would you still like to be a saxophonist, or you want to be a doctor, or a lawyer, or what? If I wasn't playing the saxophonist, yeah. if I wasn't playing the sax, I would rather be creating things, be a, like be an artist. Mm. Mm. So okay. you're very creative. Like art, drawing or singing? Drawing. 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 Cool. Mm. Do you have any other hobbies right now, apart from playing saxophone? Do you, do you like any other thing? I like drawing and mm -hmm. I, I also like swimming. You, you swim? Interesting. Your parents took you for lessons as well? No, just for fun. Oh, okay. okay, so it said that you want to use your platform, your social media platform, to inspire people. How are you doing that? Like, okay, I all the performance performance I go for, mm. I post most of them on. I post like all of them on my Instagram page, mm. so that anyone who follows me will mm. see all what I do. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you play. Um, gospel songs, you yes, play ma love songs, you play inspirational songs. Now, for a nine-year-old child, a lot of people may ask, what do you understand about love for you to even play love songs? So what does love mean to you? Well, it's not as if I really play the love songs more. Mm. Mm. It's, I play more of gospel songs and inspirational songs and also jazz songs. Mm. I only play love songs most times just to just to appreciate my family. my family, yes, mm. my your aunties, fans. like my most of my aunties, I play love songs on their wedding days. Oh, oh mm. nice! All right, so you are privileged to meet the Oni of Ife, right? Yes, sir. And you played to him, right? Yes. How did he feel about that? What was the expression on his face? Because I can remember, I can 
just imagine if I'm the only of your fan you're playing right now. What was the expression you saw on his face when you were playing? I was excited that th because that was the first time I was meeting a king. Mm. Mm. So it made me feel happy. Okay, so do you struggle with performing on stage? Do you feel shy? Are you sometimes nervous? I was nervous, but now I'm not. You're used to it now? Yes, So would you say you've had like a tough performance, maybe in your, since you were six and you've been performing, would you say there was one event where like you were really nervous? Do you, mem do you remember it and can you tell us about it? I don't really remember this time. So it's been good? Okay, what's your best performance? Then? I mean, you must have one that you really like. Your liked. biggest stage? Johnny Drew's performance and they stop performance, that's my church. Mm. Mm. You so do you plan it? to sing sometime in the future? Well, yes. Mm. You do? While you mix it with your, we're playing the sax yes, as well. Sir. All right, this is a part where we have to call for a break and we'll continue our conversation with Timmy Lyo in a bit. Stay with us. You're watching Plus TV Africa, and this is Tea Time. I loved the energy when I came in here. It was okay. so positive. I was like, I can't, I can't live here. My real names are Akbobio Kubo, Akborubo Mere. I think my father is a comedian because most times when he calls me, he's like, yo, make sure you use condom, you know, them girls out there. Uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> so are you telling me I should have shot my shots? Be fair, you have a younger brother. <laughs> Age is so nothing but a number. Beautiful. What? I'm a vampire. <laughs> I believe in equal rights for okay. women. Mm -hmm. And I also believe that a man is the head of the house. So okay. we need to draw our limits somewhere. It feels so good. I can I do my jam now? Yeah, you can. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome back, and this is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And we're still continuing our conversation with Timmy Lyo, the saxophonist. And I, I'm sure Elsie is dying to ask you some questions. <laughs> so just okay, what just shoot. would you want to do different when you start singing? You said you hope to start singing soon. What do you want to do differently? Like differently in what way? Your music, if you wanted to appeal to people because you are big on inspiring you're posting your pictures on um, your video and pictures on instagram to inspire people what do you want to do differently when you start singing to also inspire people i also um, i also sing like um gospel, gospel songs, songs okay. and also inspirational songs mm. okay so religion is very key especially while growing up a lot of kids do not have the advantage which you have right now of inspiring people with gospel songs and drawing closer to God. So if you have to advise all the kids watching you right there and your relationship with God by always glorifying and playing your saxophone, what would you tell the kids out there? I'd like to tell them that all um, their talents, they should find out their talents and practice on it more. and. They should also talk to their parents in case their parents can get them a teacher mm. or someone who can help them. And they should practice it well. Okay. I like your outfit. Did you did you style yourself this morning? No. Oh, who styled you? My dad. Mm. Your dad. Oh, wow. You must be proud of your parents. You haven't called out his name. What's his name? What's your dad's name? Balaidi Abodrin. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so he plays a big role in your career. By the time you become of age, when you become 18 years old, would you like to kick him off to the club and be like, okay, daddy, it's time for me to control my business myself. Would you do that? Well, I'm not sure for now. Oh, amazing <laughs> I like response. I love that. I love that. Yeah. All right, so back to you playing the saxophone. You also mentioned you play the keyboard. Are there other instruments you would love to learn how to play? Well, I can play the guitar, but my dad stopped me so that I can focus more on the mm. saxophone. Mm. I also can play a little on the drums and the recorder. Oh, okay. Wow. Do you feel controlled at any point in time? Like, um, I want to play the keyboard, but my dad stops me. I want to play the guitar, but my dad stops me. Do you feel controlled? Do you feel over-controlled? No. You don't. So you understand where they're going, that they only want the best for you, right? Yes, sir. 
And I'm sure you enjoy this as well. It's something, something that you want to do and you find pleasure in it. Yes, ma. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really happy for you. So um, just going back to now to your personal life or whatever, do you go on the street and people identify you and you have fans? Do you have, do you have those? Not yet. Not, no, I like that. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, but soon enough, right? Yeah. So when would you consider yourself, like, you look at yourself in the mirror and be like, Timmy Layo, have made it mm -hmm. in life. Like, I've been, I'm so successful right now. What would be that milestone for you? When I say milestone, I mean what would be your biggest achievement? Like, what would you want to do that you haven't done yet? Well, there are most of the things my teachers are teaching me, so once I can get it, I know that I can use that and it to also inspire more people. Mm. Tell, tell us, what, what, what kind of things are they teaching you? What do you mean? Like notes to play? Like some phrases and phrases and clarity and most of the, those things. So can you show us some of those phrases and clarity while we uh like clarity learning? is no you can show us just show no, us. clarity is like a word okay yeah. so clarity is pardon me i really don't know more <laughs> <of> the stems <laughs> educators please, educators we're listening clarity is making sure what you're playing everyone can hear each note clearly mm. Mm. so and then what about phrases F phrases are notes made up from a scale Okay, do you read music to play or do you just freestyle? I read music and I also freestyle. Was it hard learning music? Because I know that that sometimes is very difficult for people. When I started, it was hard, so, but now it's getting easier. It's getting it's easier. It's more like a hobby now, right? Yes, sir. Do you just have one um, teacher since you've been six? Do you just have that one teacher? Um... No, I had different teachers. Okay. And how has that affected you? Do you feel like, oh, you jumping from one teacher to another is distracting you a bit? No, it's and... okay. It's, it's okay. okay. Mm. So you don't mind changing teachers every now and then? No. Mm. Okay, so would you be my teacher sometimes? <laughs> Would you would you teach other would you teach other, other people, people how, to, how play? to play? Oh, I think so. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, what's so do you plan to own a music school? I'm not music sure right school. now. Okay. <laughs> what is your favorite subject in school? Fine arts and music. Oh, oh wow. of course. Still on the same. Okay. Line. What's your worst mm -hmm. subject? Is it math? You don't like math. No. <laughs> I like math, but not so much. Okay. Well, I really don't have worst subjects. Mm. That's good. Okay. Uh, how many how many subjects do you learn in school? Do you know? I really I'm not sure, but I'm just learning. How would you describe your grades in school? Would you say an average student or an A plus student? Hmm. I don't understand. Would you, you say very you're very your very intelligent? Do you like school? Like, like, do you like school? Do you do well in school? I'm doing well in school, but that doesn't affect my saxophone. Mm. Mm. Amazing. Okay. okay, so A plus student, so we must give her that, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, so tell us more about your relationship with your parents, because a lot of kids these days, because of the use of social media, they tend to disengage themselves from their parents and they focus more on their phones, using the internet, Facebook, Instagram, and all of that. Do you, does that affect your relationship with your parents or you, social media doesn't affect you in any way? No, they don't, it doesn't affect me because it's most times my parents help me in handling my social media mm. because I also have to go to school. Right. And, yeah. mm. right. So, so would you say you're close? The two of you, you, you and your parents are close? Yes. Okay, tell us a secret. Who's close? Who are you closer to, mommy or daddy? We won't tell them. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On I that note, we're going to, to call them. for a break mm -hmm. and then we will be right back on Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. We do not understand we will stigmatize. What you can see is the remaining of the tanker that exploded. The suspect equally confessed. A 500 naira the collector. If no talk, then go beat you. Now two to other five and they
welcome back and this is still tea time your favorite entertainment show and i'm still with my colleagues elsie godwin and ife omai and of course our studio guest timmy Lyo, who has been entertaining us all through so i'd like to know being children's day what was the well, what did you do last year for children's day you went shopping this year right so what did you do last year i i performed at the church wow yeah, yes Every year I perform at church. Mm. Last year I also did, I mean, this year I performed at church. That's yesterday and on Saturday. Mm. Okay, are so you performing anywhere today? Yes. Okay. So today, what are, can you tell us what you've done so far and maybe your plans after you leave here? Well, I've come to um, TVC. I'm just coming from TVC now. And um, I'm coming from TVC and a radio station. So from now, well, to my dad, who knows where I'm going to. But <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not tired yet. You still have energy to go and yes, do more. Okay, good. Okay, so on that note, we would like you to wrap up the show by playing us your favorite soundtrack or phrase like you just <laughs> educated me on your saxophone. Okay. I'm going to be playing a song from made by Bob Marley. Mm -hmm. That's One Love. Oh, nice. I, lo I would love that do you one. you need us to... Drum. Do you need what any you soundtrack? Do? Do you okay, when you start, we'll follow box. the flow. Or should we just keep quiet? Ignore them, just play. <laughs> <laughs> just play. <laughs> <laughs> just do your thing, girl. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on the amazing show with Timmy Layo. And of course, we must definitely end the show by saying thank you to my co-anchors, Ife Omai, Elsie Godwin, and our studio guest, Timmy Layo. And one love to everyone watching out there. Peace and love. Bye.